Blair. And then how many supercomputers do we need? I never wrote this down. Okay, so let me just guess. One probably need a lot of it. Wait a minute, the project assembly part only needs one supercomputer. So we only need four thousand. Yeah. So let's just store that amount. Yes, I know how to do math. It is like one supercomputer per thing, right? Probably should double check this. Okay, so... No, it's not here. It's in the assembler. Okay, it's assembly director system. That is one supercomputer. And we need 4,000 of them. So yeah, 4,000 supercomputers. Alright. So this is now fully automated. So I can get rid of that makeshift area over there at this point in time. And this is all saturated. And I'm just going to overclock this. Try to get as many of these as possible. And then I just have to remember to take these out. Because... Probably gonna forget that. Yeah, struggling on the cooling systems. So it's like 70... 22.5... So it's 45 per minute that's set up. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. Like, we should not be struggling unless it's going in here. That's why it's struggling. So, I forgot to factor in the fact that we're filling up this storage over here. But once that's filled up, this is, this will be completely saturated. So, just gotta be patient, I guess. Now, what about you? Yeah, heavy modular frames. Like, that's still the bottleneck. But let me just double check this. Heavy modular frames. The modular frames are not the bottleneck. But actually, yeah, it is the bottleneck. We just need more of this stuff going in here, so. Yeah, I'm good. Let's go check this out real quick. Come on. Head over to our modular frames area. Hmm. Alright. Gives me good information that I'm probably not going to use. I still need to do something about this apparently because... I need lots of... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is the heavy modular frames used for? It's for the crystal oscillators. Which goes towards the radio control units. Like... Now I have to check this. Which project assembly part requires the radio control units? It's the turbo motors which goes into the thermal propulsion rockets. So yeah, we probably need to address that. And there's our modular frames. Like what's the bottleneck here? Is reinforced iron plates once again. All right, then what's the bottleneck here? It is iron plates. Oh, what the hell? Okay, did I forget to upgrade something here? Let me, let's follow along here. 
Or are we just not producing enough of these plates? I guess we're not producing enough of these plates. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm thinking we need to do something about this. There you go. Go faster. Please. Uh, you know what? Let's do some spaghetti work here. Let's get a few more constructors. Maybe like four more. If... This area will tolerate my blueprint. But let's just do it like this. So we're gonna turn these into- oh, I lost power. Right, I need to connect these first, but... Okay, now... I can turn these... Oh! Hi, Stingray. Get some more... Iron plates going. And then we'll feed it into our existing... Spaghetti setup. do this and then we're gonna split this like so or better yet let's put a splitter like this again There we go. So this will go, or better yet, how about I put this as a smart splitter? Are you smart splitter? We're gonna do over no wait the overflow goes center any goes right and I probably need to hook these up again there we go Yeah, that should be fine. And then what I'm gonna do is put... This over here. This over here. bit more in this direction. This goes in here. And this goes here. Okay. So now we just need to like feed it.
Oh wait, that was correct. That was correct. There we go. So iron plates will then start to feed these lines over here, which is added to these lines over here. Gotta love this spaghetti. So overclock it by 50%. Actually, don't overclock it because apparently we don't have much of this stuff going in here. Yeah, these are still MK2s. Can I make MK3s right now? I do have the materials for it, so we're gonna have to make some more miners. What I'm thinking of doing is... Oh, this isn't even... Even anymore. But what I'm gonna do... Is put a merger like right over here. Another merger over here. There we go. Okay, so let's just replace these things. Can I like craft it or something? There we go. So I should need like maybe seven of these. Okay, we have six. Oh, come on. Don't fly away. All right, MK3 miners. Oh no, I just needed six. All right then. And here you go, iron ore. Come on. You know what? I, sh I should probably just put it in here. Make it easier. Oh, probably should also... Oh. Come on. Get out of there. So what I want to do is put a smart splitter here. Where are you? Smart splitter. Also put a smart splitter over here. And I'll put one here and one over, I guess, over here. Now the goal with this... Is just to fill this up. Yeah, I probably should put it here. And here. Too steep, huh? I'll show you too steep. There you go. And then we'll put this over here. And we'll overflow this. Wait a minute. Are you on the ground or are you attached to the conveyor belt? 
But let's try this again. Overflow. Yeah, there we go. And for some reason, this is not working either. Or, yeah, it is. Never mind. But this is weird. Why is this backed up? I don't understand any of you. Like, what the? Wait a minute. I, I just saw something weird happening here on this line. Yeah, what the hell is going on here? Okay, so... Let's try this again. Yeah, that did look weird. I have no idea what was going on there. But let's get the smart splitter. And you go over here. Yeah, you go over here. And I don't know what's your deal. Okay, so let's do that. And then from here... Conveyor belt's too long, so... We're gonna have to do some really wonky shit with this. Or we can just put the lift like... R this. And that does connect. Alright, let's lift this up just a little bit. You, same thing. There we go. And you're just a little short here. Okay, so we will take all of your excess. Same thing with you. And we'll just overclock this like once. To 50%. Don't want to overclock these too much because these are impure nodes. Like, it seems like a waste if I did that. But you know, I think we're good. Oh, wait, what the hell? And set this. There we go. There we go. So that should lead to more iron place. And this is all backed up now. Which is great. We're getting a surplus here. Let's just balance it out real quick. Now you're missing screws. What the hell? All right. Alright then, let's overclock these. Wait, we don't need to overclock you. Like, I have a feeling I should just feed this area over here. I'm gonna do... Let's 
Put a smart splitter. Kinda crooked, but that's okay. And then we will put overflow. Yeah, there we go. A oh, better idea. Oh, wait, it feeds into that. Never mind. Bad idea. Okay. Well, how about this? Let's put a smart splitter over here. And then we'll put this over here and then merger over here. Except that's not really going to work, is it? Oh my god. Let's try this again. Okay, merger here. Like, I over-engineered this modular frame production. Now it's like... Spaghetti-izing... This whole thing. I mean, look at it. All these damn improvements. Okay, let's do this again. Overflow. Overflow this into here. Fill this up. Because I got to make sure this is all being done properly or something. <laughs> Then we'll put a merger this way. Oh my god, why did I have to design it like this? Oh, come on. See, this is the problem when you're designing something like this. It's just that... It's hard to maintain. It's hard to expand it. And it leads to problems down the road if you need to make changes. Now, ideally, I would just leave it as is. Problem is, I do need to, like, do stuff with this. So, I need to increase the production of this. Like, this is probably the biggest bottleneck at this point in time. Might be easier to just... Like, create new production for modular frames, but I really don't feel like doing that at this point in time. Okay, one, two... Merger goes this way. Okay, one, two. Okay. Overflow up the lift. Overflow up the lift. And here we go. So everything should be getting some additional ingots now. And that should alleviate the bottleneck here. No, it's not. Oh my god. Come on.
Well, the issue is definitely not here with the miners, but it is with the smelting. I'm just not getting enough ingots. Okay, so maybe it would be worthwhile to overclock this like once. Oh my god. And here comes the autosave. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, this one is starving. Okay, we'll overclock this one. Wait, this is overclocked twice. Okay, you guys, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, this is overflowing. Why is it not doing this? Like, I'm not seeing go anything go in here. Okay, so let's turn this off for now. Yeah, it's flowing in there. Then, yeah, I'll overclock this another time. Oh, my God. Oh, it looks like the issue is really just these screws. I am spending like way too much time on this. Like I gotta move on. So we'll just leave it like that. It is completely like unoptimized, but whatever. Sixty per minute, seventy five per minute. Yeah, we'll do this. Seventy five per minute. And I just used up all of my power shards. Okay, I'm done here. It's like I don't even understand how everything flows into each other anymore, so... Let's just... Go with what I got. Like a complete imbalance with the resources here. Oh, fuck me. This is a smart splitter, I think. Except I get... No, this... This is a regular splitter. The fuck, man. Alright, smart splitter. Oh yeah, I probably put this here because I didn't have the resources for a smart splitter at that point in time. So, we'll do this. And then... Put this over here. Do it like this. And then overflow. There we go. Oh my god. Wow, this, this is just so ridiculous. 
Then we also have a shortage of screws here, so... Now, smart splitter... Go... Right here. And then merger... It'll make this overflow. There we go. Okay, I think we got it. I think. So I balanced this out the best that I could. And... That should... Do it. It should, hopefully. Uh you know what? I'm tired. Let's get out of here. What's going on here? Oh shit, you're still using MK1s. Alright. Well just do this. And yeah, and these are MK2s, so they really should be doing that. Or actually, I have two shards in here. How about we turn this into MK3s if I still can? Oh my god. Just maintaining this thing is so exhausting. And we need fused modular frames. Oh my god. Alright, fine. Just overclock this now. Okay, so iron rods. Iron rods are good. Wait, were these even overclocked? Hmm. Should I even bother with this? You know what? No. That's enough. I've spent way too much time fixing these modular frames. And again, this is the problem with having to maintain this monstrosity of a production area. It's like, you just have so much trouble doing it. But, if I go down here... Yeah, we're good. And we can't overclock anymore, so... That's a problem. Oh god. I'm glad that's done.